Hey, it's Joe Lines from Automator, and today I'm talking to Jean Alon, the author of Quick Access Pop-Up. He's going to demonstrate today some really great, cool ways to access your recent folders, your clipboard, drives, and some other stuff. Hi, Joe. How are you? Doing great. Yeah, I'm thank you to this. For, inviting, for inviting me. Yes, I will share my, my screen to show you some of the features and the dynamic menus that Quick Access Pop-Up can build for you. Um, you have some of them automatically when you install Quick Access Pop-Up. For example, in the default menu, you will see uh, a submenu called In the Works, and it includes here recent folders. So the folders that you used recently uh, on your computer. So they are there automatically. It's built by checking in information from Windows. You have the same thing, looking at the recent files that uh, you use on your computer. So it's one of the dynamic menus that are built by Quick Access Pop-Up. Some others that I can show you and we'll see right after how you can manage these menus and add these features to your uh, Quick Access Pop-Up menu. But if we go in the My QAP Essentials, that is a submenu created uh, for you, you see here clipboard that will contain the files that you selected in uh, your file manager. So for example, if I go to my file manager here and I select the three first item here and I copy it, when, I, when later you open your quick access pop-up menu going to clipboard, you will see here the, the folders or the files that you selected. So you can click on it and it will automatically open the folder that you selected from your clipboard. So that's uh, some of the feature. Another one that you mentioned is the drives. So you have automatically here also the drives submenu that will show all the drives on your computer with the free space, with the name of each of these drives. So there's only a few ones here on my demo environment, but you can then open this folder and it will, it will take you to the root of the drive that you selected. So uh, there are many other dynamic menus like that, that you can add and that you can remove also because these are there by default, but if you wish, you could use here the customized window of Quick Access Pop-Up to move them if you want to change the order of the menu or to remove them if you want to uh, remove these items. So I remove a few of them here. I don't want to do it re for real, so I will cancel my changes, but I will just show now how you could add these items to your menu. So you click customize, it will open the customize window. And when you click add, you see here uh, a lot of the fabric uh, types that you can use in Quick Access Pop-Up. Some of them are very obvious, like folder, documents, applications, but there is here QAP feature that you may wonder what it is. So when you select this type of uh, favorite, you have a preview list of the all the features that are available for you. And those that we are talking about now are under the dynamic menus uh, subsection. So if I open, let me close this one. So you have clipboard that we already saw. We also have current applications that is there by default. When you open the in the works menu, the last item in this menu is current windows, which will show you the current windows that are open on your system. So current windows is that one here. You could have only current applications or only current folders if you prefer. Uh, drives, we've seen that one. You have frequent files, frequent folders, or the files or folders that you use frequently. So how, what you have to do, and I'll select uh, which one will I select. I'll select the drive menu uh, that we already saw, but just to show you how to add a new item. So you click add, it will be added at the location you were in the menu. So it's now here. If you prefer to have it somewhere else, when you save it, you could go in the menu option and select that you want it to be under a submenu, for example, select the location in the menu. You could change the icon if you prefer, but for the drives menu, it's a drive icon that you have here. So that's how you can add these items. So I will save it. And now under the my submenu here, where is it? It's here. So we now have the drive submenus, the dynamic submenu that we added. So that's how you can uh, manage and uh, make quick access pop-up, show the, the items that will be the uh, best helper for you when you use your computer. Yeah, and I have a quick question on, on those because this is one of my favorite features of QAP. If I'm in like, let's say notepads, dialogue, open or close, you know, save as window, the, those will automatically recognize that. Is that correct? And navigate to yeah. what I select? Yeah. So when you are in uh, in Notepad, so if you have something that you want to save, 
here. When you do file save or save as, in the save as dialog box, you can select the folder where you want to go from, from one of your recent folders. So under the in the works uh, submenu, you have recent folders. And I could select that I want to save this file under the, the Amazon subfolders, which is not one of my clients. So, so here, there we go. So the file is now saved in this folder and this uh, file and this folder will appear in my recent files and my recent folders from now on because I used it, I used them recently. Awesome. Yeah, yes, using this in the, in the file dialog box, file open, file save as is a, a great time saver. It's a huge, especially if you work uh, at a company where they have some crazy paths to the network drives. On right? the network drives, yes, yeah. of course. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, man. Yeah, my pleasure. Great. Thanks for watching that tutorial on Quick Access Pop Up. Uh, from time to time, we have discounts here at the Automator. It just depends on when you watch this video. So if you go to this above link here, the Automator slash QAP discount, um, you can see if there's a discount available. If not, um, it's still a very reasonably priced program. Go ahead and go down to shop.quickaccesspopup.com and see uh, what the pricing is. It's a great, great tool. I highly recommend it. Cheers.